Hello and welcome to this video. This video is completely different from the normal videos we do on this channel, but it's still got a QuickBooks reference. And that QuickBooks reference today is all about have I found the best device to doing QuickBooks on, period. Okay then, so with this video I'm going to be looking at this device here. So the idea is that we're going to see does this, so this is the keyboard, the magic keyboard for the new iPad. So wondering to see if when these two are put together, is that the best device that we possibly can have in terms of making sure that we're getting the best out of QuickBooks. So let's have a look and see what this device does. So what does this device actually do? Well, the whole point of this device is it's going to add extra functionality to an iPad. Now, an iPad pre-2020 was not a device I was highly recommending to use for QuickBooks. had a few flaws here and there. But this one device, and with a software update that's just come through, means that actually we may be looking at the best device possible for using on QuickBooks. So the iPad now has iPadOS. What effectively that does means that it gives the opportunity for you to bring mouse support to the iPad. That coupled with the new Magic Keyboard with a nice little trackpad on the bottom there gives us the opportunity to actually possibly have the best device for doing QuickBooks. Now, the reason for that is because you not only get the full version of QuickBooks that we're used to when we log into our devices, but you've also got the QuickBooks app on there as well. Also, with an iPad, you can get the opportunity where you can actually set it up so that it has a cellular connection. So you don't need to worry about if you've got a Wi-Fi or anything like that, and it's always on. That could be one of the ways in which you get the best experience out of QuickBooks, where you have the power of the desktop version if you need it, or if you need to quickly do something with the app, the app's there as well. And it's the only device on the market where you get that opportunity to use both ends of the spectrum both the desktop and also the QuickBooks app at the same time. Now, to show that best, let's put it up on screen and have a look exactly how this works. Okay, so this is the device. So I've got an iPad here and its new Magic Keyboard accessory. Now, the idea of this is that when you open this device up now, it now turns into a laptop experience. You notice here it's floating above, it's actually showing the float there and it's showing that it's actually coming above the actual device itself. And you get this lovely keyboard experience, it's got a real tactile feel to it. And also the creme de la creme is this area down here which is the touchpad. Now it's this touchpad here, actually I've been waiting for for a long time in terms of usability for an iPad. I love the iPad, I think the iPad's a great device and it's a perfect device when you want to go out and just take one device with you on the run. Now, personally, I've been looking for a device like this for a long time. I've tried various ones, including the Microsoft Surface line. Great piece of kit, but what didn't quite have the usability I need. Majority of the time, I was always finding myself having to take both the laptop and an iPad with me if I was going to see a client, for example. Because the idea would be, that this here wouldn't be suffice. If I just had the iPad by itself, I wouldn't have the comfortable comfortability of being able to do everything I needed. But now with this device coupled together, you could probably find your way around getting away with not having to have both a laptop and an iPad with you in certain circumstances. Now, after quickly using this over the past couple of days, I can generally say that 90% of my work can now just be done based purely on this device. And that gives me confidence to recommend that maybe not this exact setup, but any of the new iPads now have the ability to have a mouse, key, mouse and keyboard solution. Now, when you've got a mouse and keyboard solution like you've got here, 
you really are working with a perfect device when it comes to QuickBooks. So let's run and see what and why this is actually working so well. So you'll see basically on screen here is exactly what the iPad looks like. And I've also got positioned a camera above so you can see exactly what I'm kind of doing to get these figure, this view just here. Okay, now let's concentrate on the software and why the software now has been updated. So this new piece of hardware idea here is fantastic. I'll also show you how there's more kind of cheaper alternatives out there that would work just as well. But let's concentrate now on why the software has been improved and why now, from a QuickBooks point of view, you actually get a lot more functionality out of it. First aspect is the QuickBooks app itself. Now notice on here, I'm now not using my finger to point or having to use, I'm using the trackpad just like you would anything else. And the new software is designed particularly well for iPads. So the idea is as I'm moving my cursor around, it then changes shape designed to actually pick on one of the items. So if I went down to the QuickBooks app and I pressed on the QuickBooks app with the click pad, it's gonna open straight up into QuickBooks. Now there's a nice little feature why it works quite well. Face ID straight in, now I'm to worry about putting passwords or anything like that, and I'm straight into my client. Now this is the client we've been using on most of our videos here, and what I like now is this um, is still your normal QuickBooks app. So some of the features in here, if I went down to the plus button down here, I had the chance to snap receipt. So I can use all that really useful snap receipt features we've got directly from the one machine. I've got the opportunity to go in and I can have a look and create invoice and everything else on, a, on the go. Now, one thing I did mention about this one, if I just open up here, this particular iPad also has internet connectivity built straight in. So I don't need to worry about the fact that I've got, uh, I don't need to worry about Wi-Fi or anything else because I've always got the opportunity to connect to this device at any point in time. Now, the thing that actually now elevates it even further is the next step so this is the app and we've seen the app before we know what the app can do and there's a lot you can do there but there are some limitations where you need the full version of QuickBooks to be able to get the most out of it and that's what we're going to have a look at now so again I can use gestures on the device itself I don't have to use my finger to point but what I can do now is I can go to open up Safari I could use any of the other ones like Edge or anything like that. And one of the things they brought into QuickBooks this time is the ability to have full desktop experience through Safari. So if I went to QuickBooks and I went into sign in and I went QuickBooks online. And now getting prompted to use my same credentials as normal. I get to use that sign in there, I'd use my face ID to get myself signed in nice and quickly. And you'll notice when it logs in, I'm logged into the same experience we would normally get on the browser. And this is it, and I don't have to use this keyboard, I can just pick it up. That element to it is now always going to be there. And I could use this and I can walk around, I can do whatever I need to do using the iPad itself. But when you dock it with this, you're also getting that functionality to use a proper keyboard and mouse. So let's jump into to one of our normal clients. And I'm just using this like I would any other laptop now. And I'm having the ability to go around and click on all the normal things we're going through and it's the full experience. I can jump into sales and have a look at what customers I've got. I can go into my settings and play around my settings. I'm literally using the full version of QuickBooks, but at any one time I can swipe and get myself back into that QuickBooks app as well. So I've got the best of both worlds. On one device, I've got the app, or I've got the full version. And another little trick on the QuickBooks as well is the ability that if I need to, I can actually run a whole Windows experience. And now using what functionality called Shadow, I can even have a full Windows experience. So here I've got a full Windows machine. So I've got the opportunity to open up an Ed browser, or maybe I need to go and look in Microsoft Teams, or maybe bring up Excel. Whatever I need to do, this 
on the same device is still just running directly off the internet. So as long as I've got an active internet connection, I also could have a full version of, my, of a Windows machine directly on here as well. You'll see here you've got the ability to put it in multiple angles. And if you do want to just take it off, you literally just take it away and it's just magnets that hold on to it. Okay, so the next best thing to this experience is a Surface Book. And the idea of a Surface Book is it's very similar. You've got kind of a tablet section, but you get a nice keyboard and mouse here. Yeah, so the reason that I don't find this as, as useful is it's very underpowered. It doesn't seem to be. And also, with the way that it's built and you've got this little kickstand here, I don't find it comfortable to be sat on my lap. Whereas this new device will sit perfectly on your lap. And ultimately, this is where this device lands. It's the idea that you've got the iPad, so you've got the functionality of just having an iPad that you can use the Apple Pencil for and you can utilize and, and use all the features of a general iPad. So you've got the touch display and you've got everything else that comes in with it. This can also lend it quite well to a dock scenario. So the idea that you could have this docked one wire straight in and you've got the ability. We even get an extra but, um, USB-C port down the bottom here to have the ability to be able to pass through charge. Also, the strength of the apps these days are far better than they used to be. At one point, you used to have apps that were very, very poor compared to the desktop environment. But that simply isn't the case anymore. Nowadays, Microsoft Teams, which for us, living in this new world of COVID-19 and not having the ability to be able to, um, go to go to the office anymore, our work from home policy is run completely from Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams has become our go-to of everything. And, and the thing is, with Microsoft Teams, it doesn't matter what device I pick up, I'm getting the same experience. So here I've got my Microsoft Team experience, just as I'd expect it to be. I've got all my Teams down the left-hand side. I've got everything that I would need in terms of HR policies, and I've got the ability to go into files, and everything that I'd expect from my desktop. I even have the ability to call people from here if I need to, or look at my calendar and see if there's anything that needs to be looking at. I really do have a really good use here for what I would tend to use my day-to-day -day work from. iPads used to be a device where you had to compromise every time you need to use them, but the software has come so much forward these days. Now I have everything I need in this one device, and I can literally just pick this up, take this wherever I'm gonna go, and not have to take my laptop with me. And for me, that's huge. Now I know it won't complete all of the laptop functionality. There are certain things on here that you would want a full blown laptop or desktop to utilize. The iPad itself is so much more flexible. And it also means that while I am sat on a train or whatever it is going from down to London or whatever my commute might be, then I would personally much prefer to have the iPad experience just one wire to charge it and everything else that comes with that than having to have to get the laptop out and everything else that goes with it. So there you are, the magic keyboard from Apple. Again, it's not the only way you can get this experience, it's just the experience I'm sharing today. Another functionality you, you could use this for as a business owner is remember how you can also use iPads these days as a replacement for a till system. So imagine you've got the ability to have your till system, your QuickBooks system, you've got everything you want in one device. You don't need to worry about Wi-Fi if you get the right iPad that you can connect via, via internet as well, by 4G as well, you're absolutely laughing. I really do find, think that this is the ultimate device in terms of being able to do QuickBooks on the go with no restriction whatsoever. The ability that now with the software that's been updated to the way it has, you pretty much have everything you need and you can make sure comfortably that you've got QuickBooks completely sorted. So there we have it. That's the new Apple Magic Keyboard. Now I really do think this is going to change the way that we can conduct the business. From well, now from the iPad, I've got the opportunity to prepare a set of accounts using my accountancy software if I need to. I can go into QuickBooks and I can do every aspect that I could do on a browser and on a desktop experience. 
if I need to, I can jump in and use the QuickBooks app to quickly do something. So maybe I need to use the receipt capture or anything like that. Using this way means that I don't have to compromise on anything and I can just pick up a device, go to wherever I need to go to and feel confident that I'm going to have everything I need to get that done. And again, you don't need to have the highest of the high um, range from, from Apple in terms of the iPad or the accessories. There are accessories and iPads to fit most budgets out there. So consider it. Is an iPad something that you feel is going to change the way that you conduct your business? And I think if you kind of get rid of that stigma about maybe I'm getting less experience, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised of how it's changed. iPad OS has evolved only over the last 12 months and there's still going to be a long way to go. But I do think that going forward, we're going to see it get even more powerful and even more capable of what it's doing. And that's really exciting. So let's hope that this is the start of something quite new and quite different in the way that we're doing. And if you think back to where the QuickBooks was showing us um, only last year about their way in which they think that the QuickBooks app is going to evolve and QuickBooks is going to be going forward, they were showing you from an iPad and they were showing you how you could talk to the iPad and how you could talk to your account and everything else. So QuickBooks obviously see themselves that they're gonna be on some sort of tablet device in the future. And I think this is the start of that. Overall, I've been looking for a device like this for a long time. I've looked at alternatives from Samsung, from smart, uh, Surface Range, more different types. And ultimately before today, I've always had to just go, I'm gonna have to take my laptop with me. Now though I don't need to do that, I have the opportunity. If I don't want to take the laptop and lug that round, then I do have the opportunity just to take an iPad with me and be able to get all the work done that I feel needs to get done. So that's it. That's a quick look at the Apple Magic Keyboard. Definitely a device that I think from a consumer point of view is going to be really useful going forward. And the fact that this software is so much more evolved than it's been means that we've got a really capable device here. And I think Ultimately, unless I'm proven wrong, I think it's the best device to be put in QuickBooks on at the moment. So I challenge you, if you feel like there's a better device out there, do let me know. Do let me know if I've overlooked anything. I'm always looking for a challenge. But no, I think this is the way in which we can get the best of absolutely both worlds. And, you know, this could be the start of a brand new way of looking at QuickBooks. So that's been me. I've been Aaron Patrick. We've enjoyed having a look at this today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. I say yeah, 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 yeah. I told them I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told them I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do Everything's feeling new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, yeah